All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I control a DC motor using an encoder and Arduino. I designed and 3D printed this gearbox so that it's a little more interesting and you're not just staring at a motor spinning and looking at Arduino code. The files will be available on Thingiverse so that anybody at home can print their own and try it out. Here I just made a quick mock-up of the schematic using paint. I feel like uh, using various colors and using more of a pictogram schematic is helpful for, more helpful for people. So feel free to pause the video as you need and make sure to read the notes I left on the page. Here I'm just showing you that I made a little key on two of the gears and one of them does not have one so that it's free to spin on the shaft. The key slides onto the shaft so that it locks and spins as one unit. Transferring the power to the actual shaft and to your end effector which for me was just a conical uh, cylinder so that some rope can wrap around it and I made a little hole to feed it through as a starting point. If you never use these relay modules, um, it's very simple. It's just input power on one side and a signal wire and the opposite end labeled NO, COM, and NC, uh, you're normally closed, normally open, is where you would connect your higher power loads. You can see that I'm just uh, jumpering the signal wire to its own positive feed. Uh, projecting it to ground does not trigger the relay. Here is the source code. The counting part for the encoder I sourced off YouTube. I believe the Guy's channel is uh, either DroneBot or MakerBot. I don't remember exactly, but <clears throat> he has a workshop. It's an older guy. And that I just copied line for line, and I just added my own code at the bottom for the um, encoder to stop and start at specific points. You can see here I drew a little line. This thing will do two full revolutions and stop exactly at the same point. Those blue wires are simulated push buttons. I didn't have any spares with me at, the, at this time, but you can use wires or any kind of connection to positive to duplicate a push button. Here you can see the encoder counting all the way to 120. It stops. It's spinning clockwise in this, at this point. It stops at 120, and then if you trigger the other push button, it'll go counterclockwise and count back all the way down to zero. You can change these as you need, depending on what your project needs are.
And here is a little example of how much torque that gearbox can produce. This uh, drill weighs about 10 pounds and it had very little trouble lifting it. I was, I was quite surprised as to how well it did. But anyways, thanks for watching and subscribe and like and I'll catch you guys on the next one.